Scott Schober, a wireless technology expert. I asked him about the priority China attaches to innovation. Well, I think a lot of it has certainly changed. If we think about just the the sheer number of patents that uh, have been applied for in China, well over a million, it, it's staggering in contrast to what other countries are doing. There's a lot of growth and innovation here in the United States, we see, but especially in China, because the, more and more they've got younger talent and they're, they're, they're high-tech talent, and they're innovating at a much faster pace than a lot of the other spots in the world. And I think that's what's starting to put China in a leadership position here. So certainly apps, all different types of high tech, certainly in the wireless area where we, we have a lot of expertise in my company, we see the likes of, of, of Huawei and ZTE and other companies continuing to innovate. And that's really making a big difference, I think, in the Chinese market as they're investing in this science and technology IP, the intellectual property. They're becoming part of a global IP system, and that will continue to keep them in a leadership position. Well, you touched on it, and I'll get to patents in just a moment, but what types specifically, what types of technology is China now leading the world? Well, well certainly, as I mentioned, there, the wireless technology. That, that area is continuing to explode and innovate. The shift from the fourth generation technology, which we're familiar with uh, LTE, we see it on all our commercials, that's migrating to a fifth generation technology, uh, allowing for high speed video on our mobile devices. That area is booming, and China is at the forefront of that, where you could take your mobile device, your smartphone, or your tablet, and real-time tap of a button, watch a movie, high definition. That's really critical, and that ties very nicely with a lot of the app development and things that are, are, are really the, the future. That's what's so exciting. Scott, there have been problems in the past, though, between the West and China over patent rights. Where do things stand at the moment? Well, th there's constantly a battle back and forth there, certainly, and, and China has done um, some advances there and taken legal means uh, to pursue IP, and, and in a lot of different ways, through uh, imports, through foreign uh, domestic investment, different licensing agreements, different joint ventures, but there is some concern, too, certainly from the United States standpoint with IP theft. And there it's becoming a, a growing concern with the different hacking going back and forth between countries and uh, the stealing of much intellectual property there. So certainly that has to be monitored more closely, and that's certainly the wrong way to grow uh, your IP portfolio. And looking long term, what do you think the future holds when it comes to China and its innovation? Well, certainly, if you look at the model China uses, what they're doing right, I think, is the government has poured heavily, especially the past 15 years. They're, they're financially funding companies to support patent filings for IP growth, innovation, and that's helping really stimulate the, con the economy there, making it a cutting edge. Uh, contrast that to the United States, uh, 2008, actually, government has, has cut back spending year over year toward innovation and growth when you just look at the sheer numbers. So that's what's, I think, putting China on the map ahead of the United States in many ways, because that constant flow of financial support from the government, it's going to drive it from startups, VCs, and certainly innovation. That's helping China. All right, Scott Schober, thanks for your insight. We appreciate your time.